Here we see the wild Mulan in his natural habitat. And it's probably going to be interesting too. Anyway, what is... Why am I going... Okay. Anyway, what is up, Splat Squad? My name is Drak, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Last time, we assassinated someone in the Holy Land of Jerusalem. And now, we shall be going onward. Towards the last few viewpoints, as well as the place where we were normally supposed to go, or to the place where we are supposed to go. I should probably turn it down. For my uh, TV. Yeah, but I can't hear it. I'll keep it there. Keep it like that for now. So, as of yesterday, after the uh, video that I did. I, uh, I, uh, what's it called? I gotten, like, I started playing another game, if that makes sense. So, there is that. And it's a uh, Scooby Doo game, which, as you guys may know, I might want to let's play at some point. And that's very good because I actually thought. Scooby Doo games are just like really, really fun though, too. Just saying. Or like real, really fun to play. Especially the ones that I got. I am missing a third, however. Because there are three GameCube game... Uh... There are three GameCube Scooby-Doo games. I only have two of them so far. They would be Night of 100 Frights and Unmasked. And Unmasked is... By far my favorite, but I am playing through, uh, nine one hundred frights right now, uh, personally. And what's also interesting is that I actually have a, uh, custom, oops. is that I actually have a custom controller. <laughs> You're Milan. Come on. Wait, is this Milan? Or is that Milan? I don't know. I'm gonna just take this. Because you feel like Milan to me. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I have... Been doing a bunch of stuff lately. Or not lately, just in general. So. <laughs> and kill. It's <laughs> killing is what I do. An assassin. Assassin's Creed is really fun. I don't... I do remember, like... I believe, like, episode 2 or 3. I don't remember. I posted this to somebody. Or I posted this to a group chat that I'm in. 
And so I want to set to play Armor Core, which I never played before in my life. So I was like, what the hell do you want me to do? I never played Armor Core. That should be a game that I should play. That I should do a casual Friday stream on. Just so I can get like a feel for it or something. I don't know. So I hope this goes well in the recording, because... Because right now, my recording is like glitched out, sorta. Well, for me it is, but it's running at 60 frames per second, so it's okay. All right, there's one more here, and it's almost to the land of... It's almost to the place where we actually have to go. Ooh, flag. Flag. I don't care about you or your children. Okay, do you care about your children? If they don't become like you, then they are safe. Okay, we're on the wrong way. But if they do become like you, then I will kill them. I'm probably gonna get flagged for that. I am running away. Let's go this way. Hello. Goodbye. I like the fact that they're just trying their best in order to do stuff, in order to do things, but we just end up killing them in the process. It's like one of my favorite things. In the uh, in the entire game, like they're just trying to live, and then we kill them for it. Yeah, I've also been replaying uh, GTA. Whoa, what the heck? Double team me. You guys saw that, right? They double teamed me. That's not fair. Anyway, I've been playing a uh, GTA 5 on PS4 because I have because I really, really love that game, and I kind of want to play it again just because just because the story of it is good. Now. I've actually have an online character, but it's only for Xbox. Because I have a lot of stuff on Xbox. On the Xbox version. Like, I have a very good house. I have a very good house. Pretty much done, like... Everything. Pretty much done, like... Sort of everything there. Or something like that. I got like a nightclub. And other stuff. Now the thing is though, I actually do like the story mode of GTA 5. Should you enter I've never, fight, even though I never played like fear. all the GTA games. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. Could you please be Oh yeah, nah. But uh, yeah. We're now here in the land of Acre. Which is currently under Templar control. Good for us! Don't hurt Don't hurt Mulan! Mulan did nothing to you! Even though I like 
like the uh, Xbox version of GTA 5. Uh, the Xbox version just doesn't have uh, what's it called? This doesn't have a speaker in their controllers, which is why I like the uh, which is why I like the PS4 version better. Because sometimes they because sometimes what they can do what they do is uh, no no I don't want to hurt the lawn. Because sometimes what they do is they just wait. Uh, whoa. Hi. Hi. Anyway, they just put like a thing just out in the middle of nowhere. Or, sorry. They just. They put like phone calls and like police stuff on. On uh, on the controller speaker, which I love. You'd be surprised. Just what I love about video games. And. Does that mean I love it? Does that mean I just... I think open world games are just really, really nice. Uh, especially, especially if there's like a lot of exploration to do. That's probably why I like No Man's Sky. I even got... I even got that game during release. Or when it released. Yeah, I actually got, yeah, I'm actually not joking. I actually got No Man's Sky when it released. It was a lot different than what it is now. Because they have, like, giant monoliths of... They have, like, giant... My sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear metal. this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. That you could get in the uh, first version of the game. It's kind of weird, actually. Just seeing how much they change. Because I'm like so used to like a... Uh, I'm like so used to a uh oh hang on. You hear about a lame? The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Alright. So back to what I was saying. Because I was like so... Because even though I'm like used to the new... No Man's Sky... Way. Uh, to the no man's sky that happened now. Instead of like what happened before. Like what happened in the least. There's like a lot there's like a lot of things I don't think. So much so that I actually want to do Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were a uh, animated series I'll see to it that based around that show. I mean, that game. What it is to be a true hero. 
in a fantasy there. <sighs> In a fantasy that I wish would just come true. And that fantasy is to just. is to just start a revolution against the, against the Sentinels. I don't know why I just want to do it. I just really feel like doing it. I don't want to sit down on the bench. I mean, not yet. If it's not a knees dropping thing, I'm not okay with it. Um. Leave this place. You will never knock me down, for I am the man who has climbed up your tower. <laughs> and no, I am not suction cup man. Okay, no, uh... Okay, nothing to do here, but there is... Billion, I should say. Oh, there's like so many things that you could do in GTA. Yeah, not so many in Skyfall. Not really a whole bunch of things to do, but I haven't played the online mode in a while. That. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. <laughs> I mean, the online mode in particular is just kind of interesting, and yet kind of not interesting. Well, because... No! I heard a Simi! Simi, I'm sorry! I shall save us, be. The only way I can. Absolute murder. Thank you. They did not say what they wanted from me, but I saw the darkness in their eyes. I'm sorry, I have nothing to offer in return for your sacrifice, but I shall see to it that my brothers know you are a friend. Alright, so we got vigilantes. We got vigilantes. That's actually pretty cool. Now we just gotta run away before they can find the bodies. <laughs> God, I really need to watch uh, King of the Hill again. I kind of left it on a cliffhanger. Honestly. Yeah, I just got done with like season... Two? Three? I don't know. But I am kind of... But I am just starting to get back into like retro stuff like that. Ripdale. When is he gonna stop this nonsense? For his nonsense? Now, he yeah, uh, Dale's voice actor. He is dead. And he will be missed. Because, well, no one else can replace him. What is that thing? There's also something interesting that I found out when I was, like, playing, like, a Japanese game. Pretty much what will happen is if a voice actor dies... They don't bother, and they're like really good at their job. They just don't replace them at all, or replace them at all, which I kind of think actually worked. 
So, so like the main character is just like silent for the past uh, couple of. It's like this. It's just silent for the whole game. Hey! You hurt me. Trying to save you all. You're not supposed to be here. Leave. This place is You're somewhere you should be. Gone. Leave before you get hurt. I don't care about you. This place is restricted. Be gone. I really don't. I hope you die. It's probably like a dark thing to say, but I don't care. <laughs> Leave this place. Hi, I'm up here now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's also something I want to talk about. There's been in a uh, Assassin's Creed movie, which I have seen before. And I particularly like that movie. I know other people don't. But I do. I love that movie no so much. And it's a shame that nobody else liked it because they were planning a sequel and I really wanted to see it. But nope, they did not. They just canceled the sequel right then and there. Another movie. So there is another movie that I like. Uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Not the live action one. Just that one, which is god awful. But I'm talking about the uh, animated one that came out earlier this year. I just saw it in theaters. Good. I also saw the Dungeons and Dragons movie, which is also very good. Yeah, the D&D nerd just happens to be upon me. And like some random stuff like that because <laughs> I because I love D&D even though I like barely played it I think so but one of my classmates actually got me into that game and I sort of made a joke while he was explaining like the dice in the game and I one of the dice to be uh one of the dice he said he explained was a, a D8, and I made the joke. It's like, man, I could have had a D8, and like he started laughing, and I was like, I did good. And it was like super good that I actually made that joke. We just like And we just sorta had fun with it. It was amazing. It's just Hi Sibby. Favors me today. God only knows what foul deeds those men intended to commit. Good of you to arrive when you did, stranger. I'll see to it that my husband is of your bravery. Okay, yeah, now I just gotta escape. I need this dealt with now. The ropes are eaten through with rot and must be replaced. If we wait any longer, we risk an accident. I understand, but what of the houses I'm supposed to repair? Never mind the citizens. What do they do anyway but cry and complain? It's the knights who sacrifice that the rest of us might live in peace. But they've nowhere to go, and the rains will come soon. I won't warn you again, boy. Do as you're told, or you'll find yourself in irons. Y yes, sir. First sensible words out of your mouth. You've got the plans now. Get to work.
That's freaking paranoid. Got it. <laughs> hey, thanks for your stuff. I could use that for something. And I am going to use it for my own doing. Uh -oh. My assassination memory is complete. Well, I'm not going to do it just yet. I kind of want to just go around Acre and just do a bunch of stuff. Collect things. Uh, do the different side missions. I kind of want to just 100% this. Honestly, and a lot of people are just probably gonna be weirded out because I never usually 100% stuff. Now I kind of want to. Also, see that line right there? That's the no no line. Basically, I cannot access that part just yet. And it's like that for, and you guys have seen it, like, a couple of times. Just because of the fact that it's just there. And the thing is, though, I can't actually access the part where it is. Because I, because if I do that, I would just be synchronized. AKA, I just sort of die. Which I don't really get. But. But yeah, you can actually see what the district actually looks like. What the middle, what part of the middle district actually looks like. So. Is that? No, no, no. I can hit the simi. No, don't hit the simi. What do you mean hitting the simi? Oh, I got a new bar. I didn't know I actually got a new bar. Just sort of beating people up at this rate. It's good you came along when you did. Another minute and they'd have made off with me. I'll At the current rate I'm going, beating people up is probably like the best thing. Oh, I don't wanna hurt like civvies. Or anything, because civvies are really nice. And I like civvies. And it's not my main objective to kill civvies. And yet the game wants me to kill civvies. Which I do not get. I am Altair, Assassin's Frog. Oh, I'll inform it. Inform it. Uh, I hate these things. Hi. What do you want me to do? Oh. If it isn't Altair, remember me? Flags? No. I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. Okay. It's just pretty much like a parkour thing. Like a guy at parkour. 
Dad, I'm not gonna be like that kid. <clears throat> yeah, there's like this kid that like sucks at parkour and just blames it on others because of his trash. And the funny thing is, though, he actually had hacks on. <laughs> it's like no sprint abbreviation or something like that. And even though he has the uh the hacks on, he's still pretty bad. <laughs> <clears throat> I just don't know why he actually blames it on others when it's a, when it's technically his fault and not theirs. No, 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 no. Climb back up. Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh, wait, that's 19? Oh, no, wait, this is 19. Here's 20. Whoa. I just did a quantum leap I'm over impressed. there. Not enough to change my mind about you. <laughs> that's amazing. But since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your <clears throat> next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. All right. So I guess that will do it for right now. So next time on Assassin's Creed, we'll be going over. We'll be continuing onward to the fort, to the poor district of Acre, in hopes to. In hopes to get, in hopes, 100% this. Man, that took so long. See you guys then.